My Shadow and Me, written by Daisy Taylor, illustrated by Petrosh Boulibasis. It was a bright and beautiful day, but Molly had nothing whatsoever to do. I'm so bored, she sighed. Go and play outside, suggested Dad. I've got no one to play with, protested Molly, but she went outside all the same. She was just doing a handstand when, from the corner of her eye, she spotted a dark shape moving about on the ground. It was her shadow, and it was doing a handstand, just like hers. And then it spoke. Ta-da! It shouted proudly. They both tumbled over in surprise. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, said the shadow. Hey, do you like hide and seek? Oh yes, I love it, said Molly. Great, said the shadow. I'll hide, you count. When Molly opened her eyes, she couldn't see the shadow anywhere. She was just beginning to wonder if she had imagined it all when it leapt out from the shade of a large oak tree and into the light. Surprise! <laughs> laughed the shadow. Perhaps today wasn't going to be quite so boring after all. Molly picked up her glass of milk. Want to see another disappearing trick? asked the shadow. Can you see my shadow glass full of shadow milk? Now drink yours. The bright sunshine shone through Molly's empty transparent glass. As if by magic, the shadow's milk had vanished. Molly couldn't believe what she was seeing. It was nearly lunchtime when Molly noticed something else extraordinary. Shadow, I'm sure you were taller this morning, she said. Well, I never, gasped the shadow. It was true. The shadow was shrinking as the sun moved higher in the sky. Suddenly, dark clouds gathered overhead and it began to rain. Molly thought the shadow was looking awfully pale now that the sun had gone in. Could it fade away? Quick, let's go inside, said Molly. Let's, said the shadow. I know a brilliant game we can play. Up in Molly's bedroom, they emptied her dressing up box, looking for anything opaque to block the light and cast a shadow shape. Molly's lamp made the perfect light source, creating a big bright circle of light on the wall. I'm a rabbit, said Molly, hopping on her bed. I'm a rabbit, said the shadow looming larger and larger as Molly hopped closer to the lamp. Quiet up there, called Dad. At last, the rain stopped. Don't forget your wellies, shouted Dad, as Molly and her shadow bolted back into the garden. Molly looked into a puddle and saw her face reflected back, like in a mirror. Her reflection smiled and waved. It was a good day for making new friends. The sun was sinking low in the sky, making a beautiful sunset. Hey, look, I'm getting tall again, said the shadow. So you are, said Molly. The shadow yawned and stretched. It was time for bed. Night, said Molly. She turned off the light and her shadow vanished in the blink of an eye. Where are you, said Molly. Are you hiding again? There was no reply. I'll miss you, whispered Molly. But in the morning, her shadow friend was back, stretching across the floor. Molly beamed with delight. Where are you going in such a hurry? called Dad as she sped past the breakfast table. Off to play, Molly answered, turning around. I thought you said it was boring playing all by yourself, smiled Dad. Oh no, Molly said. I'll never be bored again. Not as long as I've got my shadow.